Say cheese. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Welcome to my world. Your distraction attraction. What am I doing? Does anybody really care? Well, hello everyone. So, sorry for the delay in videos, but it's actually been a busy couple weeks. Last weekend I graduated from college. And then I would have had a video up a few days ago, but I had a pretty terrible outbreak of poison ivy on my face. And speaking of looking like crap on camera, today we're talking about me. Okay, who put that in the script? Today we're talking about cameras, and more specifically when you're out in public and you want to get like a group shot or something, so you have to ask a stranger to take your picture, and it goes down a little something like this. Man, I wish I could... Oh, oh, sir, could you take a picture of me? Oh, 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 yeah, sure. Alright, yeah, here you go, here's the camera. Ah, oh, thank you. Ooh, fancy camera. Alright, put this on right. Alright, so what, what, what button do I push? Is it just, is it this? Right, right here? Okay. Okay, I... Oh, I don't think it's on. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, you got it. It's the switch on top. Switch it on right there. Wait for, oh, I, I see it. I've got it. Okay. But I can't see you through the... You can't look through the screen. You gotta look right through the finder. Right there. Yeah, through the viewfinder. Alright. Got it. Through. Oh. Alright. Alright. Wait. This is, oh. Oh, this thing zooms. It's, oh, it's fancy. I like this camera. It's very nice. Alright. Say cheese. Did you get it? How do I look at it again? How, yeah, it's just a little, the triangle one. This, oh, I did something. All right, now to be fair, if you're dealing with a somewhat fancier camera like this, as opposed to just a little point and shoot like this, it can be a little intimidating, especially if you got someone who's like a little overprotective of their camera, like, could you put the neck strap on? Oh, and the wrist strap too? Thanks. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that the memory you're about to capture of me standing in front of Epcot with a crappy picture isn't really worth the cost of the camera, so. Next trap. So yeah, we're all impressed with your fancy camera. You ever read people like that? Or people who are like megapixel snobs? Who are like, how many megapixels does your camera have? Seven? <laughs> Twelve? The thing to remember is that just because you have a better camera doesn't mean that you're a better photographer because a bad picture at high resolution is just a clearer picture of crap. Think about it, there used to be cameras with like two, three, four megapixels and they took fine pictures. So if you do end up being the stranger taking a picture of a group of friends you don't want to be embarrassed because most cameras do have a somewhat different you know, configuration of dials and buttons on the back, look for the symbols because cameras are kind of like VCRs, like it doesn't matter what brand, they all have the same symbols on them. Number one, look for the picture of the camera. That universally means point, shoot, done. Number two, look for the triangle with the rectangle around it. That is going to be the review button on every single camera. And lastly, look at the top because I don't know why, but every camera manufacturer in the world seems to put the power button right next to the take the picture button. And the bigger one is going to be the take the picture button and it's probably going to be unmarked. Honestly, for me, and I'm guilty of it too, but that's the most annoying when you have like a group of people who don't want to take a picture and you're like, no, we got to do it, guys. And they turn the camera off because then they have to turn it back on and somehow they lost the button. <sighs> so, my question for you guys is, what is your biggest camera pet peeve? Leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.